Imam Ali peace be upon him, is not only for Muslims but for all humanity, who are searching for the meaning of life and true wisdom. Sermon 86 The Qualities of a Faithful Believer O creatures of God, the most beloved of God, is he whom God has given power to act against his passions, so that his inner side is submerged in grief, and the outer side is covered with fear, the lamp of guidance is burning in his heart. He has provided entertainment for the day that is to befall him, he regards what is distant to be near himself, and takes the heart to be light, he looks at and perceives, he remembers God, and enhances the tempo of his actions, he drinks sweet water, to whose source his way has been made easy, so he drinks to satisfaction, and takes the level path. He has put off the clothes of desires and got rid of worries, except one worry peculiar to him. He is safe from misguidance, and the company of people who follow their passions. He has become the key to the doors of guidance, and the lock for the doors of destruction. He has seen his way, and is walking on it. He knows his pillar of guidance, and has crossed over his deep water. He has caught hold of the most reliable supports and the strongest ropes. He is under the level of conviction, which is like the brightness of the sun. He has set himself for God, the glorified, for performance of the most sublime acts of facing all that befalls him, and taking every step needed for it. He is the lamp in darkness, he is the dispeller of all blindness, key to the obscure, remover of complexities, and a guide in vast deserts. When he speaks he makes you understand, whereas when he remains silent then it is safe to do so. He did everything only for God, and so God also made him his own. Consequently, he is like the mines of his faith, and as a stump in his earth, he has enjoined upon himself to follow justice. The first step of his justice is the rejection of desires from his heart. He describes right and acts according to it. There is no good which he has not aimed at, nor any likely place of virtue of the Quran. Therefore the Quran is his guide and leader. He gets down when the Quran puts down his weight, and he settles where the Quran settles him down. The Characteristics of an Unfaithful Believer while the other kind of man, is he who calls himself learned but he is not so. He has gleaned ignorance from the ignorant, and misguidance from the misguided. He has set for the people a trap made of the ropes of deceit and untrue speech. He takes the Quran, according to his own views, and right after his passions, he makes people feel safe from big sins and takes like the serious crimes, he says that he is waiting for clarification of doubts, but he remains plunged therein, and that he keeps aloof from innovations, but actually he is immersed in them, 
His shape is that of a man, but his heart is that of a beast. He does not know the door of guidance to follow, nor the door of misguidance to keep aloof therefrom. These are living dead bodies. About the descendants, Itra, of the Holy Prophet. So whither are you going to? And, how are you then turned away? Ensigns of guidance are standing, indications of virtue are clear and the minarets of light have been fixed. Where are you being taken astray and how are you groping? While you have among you the descendants of the Prophet. They are the reins of right, ensigns of faith, and tongues of truth are called to them. The same good position as you accord to the Quran, and come to them for quenching the thirst of guidance. As the thirsty camels approach the water spring, O people take this saying, of the last of the prophets, that he who dies from among us is not dead, and he who decays after dying from among us does not really decay. Do not say what you do not understand, because most of the right is in what you deny. Accept the argument of one against whom you have no argument, it is I did I not act before you on the greater, Thakal. Athakwalikba, that is the Quran, and did I not retain among you the smaller Thakal, Athakwalazgar, that is the descendants of the Prophet, I fixed among you the standard of faith, and I taught you the limits of lawful and unlawful, I clothed you with the garments of safety, with my justice and spread for you the carpet of virtue, by my word and deed I showed you high manners through myself. Do not exercise your imagination about what the eye cannot see, or the mind cannot conceive. A part of the same sermon, about, Banu Amir. Till people begin thinking that the world is attached to the our mates would be showering its benefits on them and lead them to its clear spring for watering and that their whip and sword will not be removed from the people whoever thinks so is wrong there are rather a few drops from the joys of life which they would suck for a while and then vomit out the whole of it <laughs>